Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you coming back. So guys, today I've done this before. I have two videos out there about five uh, websites that you should know about. Um, I guess technically this is part three. So there's going to be five more websites here today that I'm going to show you that are really cool, useful websites that I personally think you should know about. Let's get started. The first website on today's list is PDF Drive. It's pdfdrive.com. And don't worry, all the links will be down in the description below. But PDF Drive is basically a search engine for PDF files. And if you see here, as of now, they've got over 75 million ebooks that you can download for free. It's completely legal, so no worries there. Um, if you do pop in here, I suggest taking a look at the editor's picks. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, but you can also go up here and search. So say for instance, instance, you are looking for a PDF on computer repair. So you just enter your search terms. I got too many spaces. Hit enter and you get a lot of different results here about computer repair. Um, you can also filter these out by year, language, and the number of pages, if that's something that you want to do. Um, but once you find what you're looking for, let's choose this one. You click on that, and you can either click Preview to see a short preview of what this ebook is like, or you can just click download to download it directly to your computer. So again, a great source for free PDFs. Check it out at pdfdrive.com. Next on the list is flightstats.com. Now, this is a great website for checking out current flight stats of a current flight. Um, you can actually do um, flights that are done with, and you can kind of see uh, some information on those too. Now, there are a lot of sites that do this one, that do this. I like this because this goes into a little more detail. So if you have the flight number, and just a quick Google search, I found one. So let's enter that. It's AAL1368. And as you can see, that is American Airlines 1368. So let's click on that. And if you take a look here, it has just your basic information. Um, as far as departure, it was scheduled to leave at 1439, which is 239. Um, it actually left at 252. Looks like they were behind a little bit. Um, but as far as landing, scheduled to land at 508, estimated 505. So it looks like they're going to be on time. Now, this is what you get from a lot of websites. If you want a little more information, you can click down here on View Flight Details. And it opens up a whole nother page here. Gives you a lot more information. Um, as far as like the craft type, I meaning the airplane type, the tail number, how long the flight is, um, even has your gate information, which is kind of cool stuff to have. So check that out at flightstats.com. Okay, next on the list is fast.com. Now this is just a basic internet speed test. Um, a lot of the ones that you'll go through, there's, there's a lot of speed tests out there. Um, but they kind of got contracts with ISPs and stuff like that. Fast.com is different because it doesn't contract with any ISPs. It is pretty accurate. Um, I've already tested mine here. Or actually, when you go onto the site, it will automatically uh, run the test. So um, let's just refresh like I'm just coming in. And it will run through. And it will give you your download speed. Okay, mine's right at 900 Mbps. I pay for one gig, so we're pretty close there. If you want more information as far as your upload speed and ping results, just click show more information. I'm not going to do that because it also reveals your IP address, so just keep that in mind. Now, this here is a great website, cleanpng.com, and what this is, they literally have thousands of image files that are transparent, meaning they have no background. And you're free to use though these for absolutely free, for websites, whatever you want. Brochures, if you're doing PowerPoint presentations, um, they've got quite a bit of stuff here. So you can go ahead and scroll through, um, or they actually have a search up here. So let's just search for, I don't know, it's a tech channel. So let's search for computer, but we'll spell it right. 
and they've got some stuff okay initially doesn't come up with computer stuff but um, you scroll down you got a little bit more and once you find what you want just go ahead and click that image and that's just part of their ads just close that and then you'll scroll down once you have this open you'll scroll down there's some other images that may interest you here but scroll down click the free download to download that to your computer but yeah guys thousands of free images without a background that you can use for anything okay and this is the last one and this is one of my favorites i actually use this all the time not because it is useful but i don't use it because it's useful i use it because i think it's really cool and there's a certain nostalgia that comes with this site so uh, the wayback machine you can actually enter any website up here and it will take you back um, to different date points of snapshots of what that website looked like before and this will even work for websites that have been shut down and you can no longer get to and so you can kind of still pull data off of those if you remember the site so if you go in here let's just say I want to use Yahoo so we're just gonna go yahoo.com and we're gonna hit enter and this is what will come up you'll have your little timeline here and you'll get to choose what year uh, that you want to uh, see and so let's say for instance we want to go back to 2001 to see what Yahoo's website looked like in 2001 and so once you hit the year you'll scroll down and all these bubbles here indicate that is when the web crawlers took snapshots of this website so let's say we want to go back to July um, July 10th and we'll just choose there's 211 snapshots here that means it took 211 snapshots that day um, let's just go to this one here at this time now once you select that it does sometimes take um, a little bit of time to load because it is pulling archives but as you can see it loads and this is what Yahoo looked like on July 10th 2001 and that's very nostalgic because I actually remember that and um, yeah and the links should work too when you click on them it should load everything that comes with that so but yeah guys that is one of my favorite the Wayback Machine again all of the links are down in the description below and this does conclude the five cool or useful websites for you guys today so let me know what you think in the comments if you like this go ahead and click the like and always remember to subscribe for future content thanks guys